Well, Dave, if we just heard from Barry, you know, he was talking about Japanese yew and uh, black cherry trees being toxic for, for livestock, but actually oak trees can be toxic as well. They sure can. You know, uh, green acorns are very toxic to animals. We're beyond that this time of the year, uh, but a couple of weeks ago with the ice storm, we had a lot of oak limbs break off and hit the ground with some green leaf material and we had a few calls in our office where people said hey my cows are consuming those leaks uh, leaves should I be concerned the issue uh, generally speaking is going to be related to grazing and forage management uh, you know it tends to be more of an issue kind of exacerbated when the pasture is already overgrazed and the cattle may be hungry possibly thin and so they're going to be more enticed to go seek you know, foreign material like that, or I guess it wouldn't be foreign, but material that they normally wouldn't consume. And so that's the main issue. And, and by far and away, the way to prevent it is to control, you know, make sure the cattle have adequate forage or feed. And then in times when, you know, such as the downed uh, limbs, uh, when acorns are dropping and so on, make sure the cattle have plenty of palatable feed to consume. So, and it's the leaves and the acorns as well? Both can be toxic. The, the green acorns are probably the most concentrated in the, in the tannic acid or the tannin compound that, that is the toxic material. Uh, and I, I guess, Curtis, the other thing we should say is that, you know, like uh, in the example of, let's say, uh, trimming your trees and carrying out the limbs and maybe depositing them in a pasture somewhere, give them some time to cure first. There is one study that shows that if you, if you put the oak leaves out when they're green, animals are more likely to consume them versus if you let them sit and dry and cure, animals are a lot less likely to consume them. So just give them some time. So in regards, you know, having oak trees just in your pasture necessi isn't necessarily a bad thing and you don't really have to worry about the, you know, as fall and winter comes and the leaves are blowing all around and it's not really something you need to worry about. Generally not. Only if they don't have anything else to eat, they're gonna be more attracted to that material. If a producer is concerned that they might have a sick animal who's, who's that, that's eaten an acorn or some leaves or that has a problem, what should they do? That's a challenge. There's not a whole lot they can do. Probably the first thing, if they notice a pretty severe depression, maybe some real black uh, diarrhea, for example, just real severe symptoms like that, they need to get the animal to the veterinarian or at least contact their veterinarian to find out. Um, you know, one preventative uh, product is calcium hydroxide, uh, pickling lime, if you will. And uh, if you can incorporate that in a palatable concentrate supplement of some type at the rate of about 10 to 15% and get the animals to consume two or three pounds of that a day, they might get enough of the calcium hydroxide to deactivate those tannins. But you know, that's, that's a lot of trouble to go to and the, the timing has to be just right. If the severe uh, symptoms are already showing up, it's probably too late for that to help much. All right, thanks Dave. Dr. Dave Lawman, Extension Nutrient Livestock Specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you would like a link to that lunchtime series, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.